Oh, it's a bass. All right, guys, we're actually in the middle of a heat wave. We have, we have a heat advisory until Thursday, I believe. But uh, what I got going on today is this. So I got mail sent in from a subscriber, which is always exciting. And I just waited till I got here to open it up and see what was inside. So I'm back at this spot where I fished last week, this little creek. Uh, I didn't have much luck here last week until I switched to worms. But today I'm gonna go ahead, try to fish the lures that he sent in and see if, any, and see if I have any luck. I hope these baits work for you like they do for me, Ryan. All right, so I'm about to give it cast number one. So the reason I decided to come back here today mainly was just because we're in that heat wave. It looks pretty good. And um, this place has a lot of shade, so I don't gotta worry about getting too hot myself. Hopefully the fish are biting. So, start with I'm just targeting, or I'm probably just gonna be targeting shaded areas the, during the day. There we go, finally, fish on. First fish. All right, first fish on, tiny green sunfish. All right guys, so this bait definitely seems like it's gonna be effective. I've been getting I've been getting bites pretty much since I started casting. A couple strong bites and then just a couple little nibbles. Took eight minutes, but I finally landed a fish. So what I'm thinking maybe is I'm gonna try to make it through all the colors first. Then after that, I'm just gonna fish and see how many fish I can catch if I continue to catch fish. But uh, that would be the challenge for the day to get through all the different colors of these lures that he sent in. So let's keep going. There we go. Whew. Finally, man. All right, fish number two. All right, 20 minutes later, finally got the second fish and a different color of these little bluegill. Let's let them go. All right, guys. I'm 20, or actually, I've probably been fishing now, probably for about 30 minutes. Been able to catch two fish on uh, two different colors of these, so I got two more to go. Fishing is definitely tough today, but so far I've been able to catch fish on these. Let's keep it going. All right, next color up, it's blue eyes. Oh, it's a, oh, nice, rock bass, awesome. All right, guys, look at this, I just got a rock bass. Never get these, they're rarely. Nice size one, too. Well, for what I'm used to catching, which is nothing, let's let this guy go, man. Look how sharp his spines are. All right guys, so that was probably about five minutes after that second fish. There's actually a uh, few fish over there in the shade, so hopefully they'll keep biting. I actually only need to get through one more color. I've gotten through three so far, so let's get the last color on. And then afterwards, let's just toss them and see how many we can get. All right, so the last color of this is monkey milk. Don't come off. Woo. All right. All right, monkey milk, man. Largest fish of the day, got a bass on it. Tiny little lure. Look at that. Decent bass. Let's 
get them back. That's all four, man. Challenge complete. There we go. Oh, a shell cracker. Nice. All right, the shell cracker. Still using this monkey milk color just because we're already on. Just let this guy go. There we go. All right, what is, looks like another rock bass. All right, looks like another rock bass on this monkey milk color. Just got a green sunfish. Monkey milk still. There we go. Oh, a crappie. Woo! Yes. Alright, guys, I'm back and cast over to that tree. Got a nice size crappie. Monkey milk still. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, is that a rock bass? What is that? Oh, no, no, come off. Woo. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Is this a rock bass? Yo, is this a rock bass? Look at this thing. Whoa. Oh my gosh, man. I think this is a rock bass. It's, I think this is a rock bass, man. Look how big this thing is. I gotta get a quick uh, weight measurement on this, man. This is, a, wow. <sighs> Monkey milk. Oh man. Let's go get a weight and a measurement real quick. Look at this thing, man. Shh. 0.68. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see, but 0.68 is what he weighs. So, is it... Uh. Man, 0.68, 10 inches. And so that was 0.68, 10 inch rock bass, man. Shout out Ryan, thank you for sending me this. Thank you for sending this in, man. That was definitely my personal best rock bass. I gotta look up the state record rock bass. I'm sure it's over a pound, but that thing was big. I've never seen a rock bass that big, personally. My dad watches these videos, so dad, you can see I keep my phone in my backpack inside of a Ziploc bag. So for Alabama, the state uh, or the state record rock bass was caught at the Paint Rock River, which is actually not too far away from here. It is one pound, six ounces, so a whole pound larger than mine. I would love to see that thing in person. Alright, so let me go back over my tactics again. 
So what I'm doing is looking for any areas that have overhanging trees or anything like that. I'm casting under those areas. When there's a current, I'm letting it drift in the current. And when it's drifting, I'll just give it a, a just lift the rod tip up and down. So it's just going like this inside the current. That's actually how I got that rock bass. Other than that, I'm using a slow retrieve. Or if it does hit the bottom, which it, I'm rarely letting it do, I will bounce it off the bottom if it does hit. But I'm trying not to let it do that because uh, it doesn't seem to be effective today. So that's what I, that's how I've been targeting uh, these species. But let's keep going for a bit longer. I'll probably fish till one, so about an hour and a half more. It's a great. <laughs> it's been a great day so far compared to last time. Well, I mean, last time I used worms, that was successful. But man, again, thank you, Ryan. Another one, man. All right, another rock bass, man. It's the most I've ever caught in my life. They're all pretty decent size. This is nowhere near as big as the last one, but they're all hanging out under this little overhang from this tree. Let's get them back. Right, guys well that's gonna do it for the day it is 12 40 so I'm leaving about 20 minutes earlier than I had expected but the bite definitely slowed down so I want to say thank you again thank you again to VHF for the, the reel I've been using it thank you to Southern Crappy Company for rushing this reel out when uh, it was ordered and thank you to Ryan for sending in these lures I was definitely able to catch my personal best rock bass using them so thank thank you to all you guys and all of you guys who watch these videos but anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic week this week. Take care of yourselves, tight lines. Catch you next time. Subscribe if you haven't.